What's going on, Broadnet? This is WRKJ296. I'm making this video to show you guys how to get connected to the Broadnet repeater systems via DB switch on your Android device without the use of a Raspberry Pi. It's actually a lot simpler than most people think. So first things first, let's go to broadnetgmrs.net. Once you're on the website, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and join. Uh, register for the website. It takes a couple of days for you to uh, get an email back from them um, letting you know that you've registered on the website. <clears throat> and then what you want to do is go up here to the top right hand corner with the three lines. Uh, let's log in. Okay, once you log in, uh, go back to the three lines on the top right. Go to my account, and then right here where it says DB switch access, click that. What you're going to see is you're going to see this window. It pretty much explains um, the instructions on what to do. Basically what I'm showing you in the video. Uh, so right here where this orange banner is that says DB switch access request, you're going to want to click that. Once you click that, it's going to send the broadnet an email, uh, letting them know that you're requesting access to join their hub. Um, I've already done it, so I don't want to send them another request um, and confuse them. So once you do that, you will receive an email in approximately 72 hours. The email will look like this. Okay, and as you can see here, you have host name, port number, username, password, caller ID, all that fun stuff. So obviously I've crossed out my password just to avoid confusion. But I'm going to show you on DV Switch um, basically where to put all this information. So let's get out of here. If you haven't done so already, go to the Play Store uh, and download. Go to the Play Store. You can search for IAX RPT, or you can just switch uh, search for DV Switch. But I just do IAX because DV Switch is the first one that pops up. Click on it, install it. As you can see, I already have it installed, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Once you open it, it'll look like this. And this is your main screen. So what you wanna do on the top here, you wanna to go to accounts. And as you can see, I already have information on all of mine, but yours will look like this one that says empty. So it'll say IAX on the top, IAX2, and it'll say empty. I'm just gonna show you since I already have my stuff already filled in. Under host name, you wanna put roip.broadnetgmrs. Mm -hmm. Dot net port will be 4569 your username is wrk well actually your username will be your call sign um, or the username that they'll assign you most likely it will be your call sign the same way it is here okay so you're basically mimicking um, what you see here so you can see host name host name port number 4569 username uh, password, you'll have your own unique password. Caller ID will be your call sign here. Under caller number, you can leave it blank. And under node, it's 1423. So once you've done all that, you're going to go ahead and hit save. Actually, before you hit save, up here where it says transmit level, you can play around with these, um, these, uh, what are these called? I forget what they're called, but these levels, basically, you can change the level to your transmit level and your receive level if uh, you think you need to either increase it or decrease it. It's up to you. Then once you're done, hit save. Um, you should, okay, you'll hear that beep, and that beep lets you know that you're connected. You go here, you should say 1423 on the bar. All you have to do is hit connect. You'll hear that. Node one four two three connected. Okay, and that's letting you know that you are connected. You can go up here to the status. It'll say you are registered. You're connected to node fourteen twenty three, and it shows you other nodes that are also connected currently to the hub. So if you wanted to talk, you can go back to dialer, hit the PTT button here. You press it. It'll turn red. Once it's red, you know you are actively talking on the hub. So let's try that. WRKJ296, testing out a DV switch. Can someone out there give me an audio report? 
Let's see if someone responds. Five eighty. Thank you very much for the comeback. This is WRKJ two nine six, currently in Rockland County, New York. I'm just uh, making a video, and I just wanted to uh, make a contact on the broadnet. So I appreciate you coming back to me. Once again, this is WRKJ two nine six, and I'm going to be on the side standing by. Thanks again. <clears throat> Let's see if it responds. Is that going to be on YouTube? I'm interested in how you hook up and you switch on my phone. Yep, yeah, that's a copy. I'm actually making a video trying to explain uh, kind of like a tutorial on uh, how to connect to the broadnet via DV switch. So I'm currently doing that and you're going to be famous because you're going to be in the video. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to continue the video here. And yes, I'll be posting it on YouTube. Uh, and more than likely, I'll be posting it on the Facebook group page. Back to you. Thank you very much. WROD 580. Clear on your final. Ten four five eighty. Uh, thanks again for the comeback. WRKJ two nine six, and I will be ten seven. Okay. So as you can see, we are connected to the broadnet um, status. You can see it's registered, and as you can see, five eighty came back to me. So if you're watching this five eighty, thank you for the comeback. You're helping me make this video. All right. So guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, in order to disconnect from the broadnet, just go up here where it says hang up, hit that. You can, you'll hear those tones letting you know you're disconnected. You can go to status to verify, and you'll see node not connected. So now you know you can exit out of DV switch, and you will be disconnected. And then to get back into it, all you have to do, make sure it says 1423. You're going to want to make sure that the one that you, this one up here, the ROIP one, that's the one that you're going to want to, Make sure it has a green check mark, and then that's how you know you're connected to this one. All right, guys, I hope this video helps and explains a little bit on how to get connected to the Broadnet via DV switch. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave comments below, uh, or just reach out to us on the Broadnet and see if we need if you need any further assistance. This is WRKJ, and I am ten seven.